For over 150 years, Hong Kong was a British colony. This had influence on culture, politics, and the overall appearance of the city. For example, Hong Kong has left-side traffic, double-decker buses and trams, English names of the streets, and typically British buildings. In this video, I will show you my favorite British colonial buildings in Hong Kong. Besides their beauty, these colonial buildings are also remarkable for being preserved until this day. The majority of old buildings are being demolished, because there is not enough space in Hong Kong to build the new skyscrapers. If you want to know about interesting Hong Kong skyscrapers and how they are built influenced by feng shui, let me know in the comments down below and I will make a video about it. When you hear the words colonial architecture, what comes to your mind? old beautiful buildings with columns and such? Well, you are right, but not completely. It turns out that colonization of Hong Kong lasted longer than in other Asian countries up until the end of 20th century. That's why even modern buildings like that are considered colonial. I found this classification of colonial architecture periods in Hong Kong, so you can have a better understanding of the timeline. In this video, we will focus on Victorian and Edwardian periods of colonial architecture in Hong Kong, as I find them the most beautiful. So here is my top 5. Probably the biggest and oldest colonial complex in Hong Kong. This prison was built in 1841 and was open until 2006. In 2018, after being restored for $485 million, the prison was opened for public as Center for Heritage and Arts called Tycoon. I like places like this, where you can feel the history. When you walk around here, you can't help but feel immersed in history. Especially when you pass by empty cells, your imagination starts picturing how the prisoners used to spend their time here. Besides, there are always exhibitions, shops, and restaurants in Tycoon. Murray House is a 160 years old restored colonial building. Murray House is a typical British military barracks design of the 19th century, but localized for Hong Kong with verandas to add more ventilation. The Victoria era building served as barracks for the British military up until the 1960s. But as I told you in the beginning of the video, there is not enough space in Hong Kong for new buildings. That's why Murray House was dismantled in 1982 and moved from its original site in Central and rebuilt on the Stanley waterfront to make way for the Bank of China Tower. I don't know, I find it fascinating, like they transported the whole house like it was made of Lego blocks. Now it is used for shops and restaurants. My personal opinion is that this fashion brand sign is kind of killing the beauty of this building, don't you think? 1881 Heritage is another stunning colonial building situated in the heart of Chim Sa Choi. The main building was former Marine Police Headquarters, which were renewed and restored. Before, inside there were prison cells that contained pirates and smugglers. Now, this 120 years old building features luxury shops, fine dining restaurants, bars and a hotel. There is also a heritage hall where you can discover the history of the site. The Court of Final Appeal, or Old Supreme Court, is another gorgeous colonial building that is hiding among modern skyscrapers in Central. The construction of the building took almost 12 years. 
During the Japanese occupation of Hong Kong, the building was used as the headquarters of Japanese military police. In 1978, Old Supreme Court was severely affected by the construction of MTR. Therefore, it had to undergo some restoration afterwards. Since 2015, this building is housing the Court of Final Appeal. And last but not least, the old dairy farm depot. Low brick building that currently houses the Foreign Correspondence Club and the Hong Kong Fringe Club. It was built in 1913 and was used as a cold store for dairy products. During the 70s, the dairy company moved and the building was abandoned. The Hong Kong Fringe Club acquired the abandoned building in 1984. The Fringe Club renovated the building extensively to make it a vibrant place for the contemporary arts. So that was my top 5 favorite colonial buildings in Hong Kong. Which building did you like the most? Write down in the comments down below. I'll see you soon. Bye!